Good night, guys. See you in the morning. Good morning, guys. Remember, I told you that I really love waking up in the morning. So, let me show you. <gasps> okay. Oh, look at this one. Yes, that's what I mean. What I love about waking up in the morning is there's no sun and it's really windy. It's really chilly, there's no sun, it's the perfect moment. Okay, let's go and check what's Jack doing. Jack is the one who organized this trip. Let's go and check. Probably he's cooking. So let me take you to the place where we call like a little house. Follow me. It's like a small house tour. Okay, I don't see where you call me. This is where we camped uh, yesterday and also today. Small dining room. Uh, later we're gonna put our yoga mat over here and our food over there. And this is our kitchen and our chef, Jack. Jack, what are you cooking? Goreng. This is nasi goreng. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I also made it on my last video. Yeah. Indonesian fried rice. This is our balcony. And this was our fire last night. And this is our other beautiful view over there. Terrified, Jack said that that snake was anaconda, a baby anaconda. It was anaconda. Yes, it is, but it's a little small. Yeah, it's just a baby anaconda. Let's right. say we're gonna come here Guess after what? one year, and that snake is gonna go big, and it's gonna swallow people. Yeah, like in the movies. Oh <laughs> yeah, my like god! In the How do you feel here? When you saw that? That's now me. I wow. don't feel safe anymore, especially first. Yeah, it's the first time for you, right? That yes. you saw that snake. Yeah, the the thing is, when I saw it, I was like, probably it's got poisonous because it's so small. But Jack told it's anaconda. It's gonna grow big. It's like it's gonna swallow people, like in the movie. Yeah. Oh my god! I thought anacondas are somewhere in the jungle. No, I don't feel safe. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, it's okay. Oh, and Oman once in the island, he when he was fishing, he saw a cobra. Yep. How was it like? Where was it? Yeah, and... I don't need to feel afraid. Uh-huh. Just as usual. Is it like a baby cobra? No, no, no. Mama cobra, I guess. Uh, like how big was the it? The big one. Oh my god. And what the what was the color? The color is black, but it's tiny, you know? Uh-huh. It's very tiny. Oh my god. It was uh, just standing like yeah, that. Yeah, standing like this. <laughs> but as long as we don't destruct it, yeah, they will not. It's so difficult because if I see the snake, I'm just gonna shout. <laughs> but are there no cobras in here? Mm -hmm, no? Mm -hmm. no, no cobras in here. We are frying tahu. It's my favorite. It's like a tofu cheese. I love it so much. Okay, so I think now it's not ready yet. Having Jack's breakfast. Nasi goreng and tahu goreng. For breakfast. <laughs> Brought this little cutie. I'm gonna drink water out with it. I'm having this kind of beautiful view. So right now it's super sunny. Uh, the sun is coming, so it's time to apply sun protection. Just uh, try to apply as much as I can. So when it's a sun time, it means it's a swing time. It's time to swing. So now I'm going inside the jungle and show you how is it there. Let's see. And let's see another side of this uh, island, what's happening there. 
So as you see, there are some other campers as well, the fishermen. And honestly guys, I think this guy is the luckiest. Look at him. Can you zoom him? Zoom him? Honestly, he's the smartest one in here. He found the perfect spot. He's like in the middle, chilling with this beautiful wind and just, you know, I'm so jealous of you. I wish I, I've seen this place the earlier. <laughs> Yay. Yay! It's very chilly here. It's like an AC. So I found my perfect place now. I'm gonna just sleep on the edge, as you can see. It's actually really practical to come inside this jungle. It's so windy, I love it. Coming to uninhabited island makes me feel relaxed, independent, adventurous, free-spirited and grateful. But also, it makes me sad and worried. These beautiful landscapes are ruined and they are ruined by us, people. We are scared of wild creatures such as snakes and rats and mosquitoes and we take immediate actions in order to get rid of them. But in fact, we should be scared of this of plastic and we should take measures in order to get rid of it in the long term because the snake presence in the nature proves that our nature is still alive our presence of plastic shows us that we are on our way to ruin our planet according to the Ellen McAder foundation by 2050 there will be more plastic in the ocean than a fish and you might be thinking this is not because of me. I never throw plastic into the ocean. True, you never do that. But unfortunately, people in the countryside of Indonesia dump their rubbish into the small rivers. They don't do it on purpose. They do it due lack of awareness of consequences and insufficient education. Now, you might be wondering, what can I do to save the situation? How can I help? All you can do is to start with yourself. Try to reduce the plastic usage in your life gradually and be a responsible citizen of this planet by educating and raising awareness of the younger generation. So to our sadness, the boat is here and it's time for us to go home. And it was such an amazing trip. And yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit sad because we're gonna go back to our places. There are no places to go because of the lockdown for now. I took a shower and I feel way better. I have to eat something. So that is how we have fun in Jakarta when we feel that there's nothing to do. You can always find a way to stay positive even though you don't like some things about Jakarta. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and goodbye. See you in the next video.